it's the base for the new Netflix drama Safe, conceived by American thriller writer Harlan Coben but set in Britain. Famous for his edge-of-the-seat, action-driven stories, Coben definitely knows how to thrill on the page, and now on the screen. 2. His first project was The Five, which was broadcast on Sky. But when a new project emerged from Harlan, Sky passed on the drama and it moved to the deep-pocketed Netflix. It tells the story, over eight episodes, of the disappearance of a teenage girl from a gated community. It has an enviable cast, too, including Michael C. Hall. The friendly serial lure from U.S. hit Dexter, and our own Amanda Abington, best known from her role as Loyal Mary. Wife to Martin Freeman's Watson in Sherlock. We meet Hall, Abington and co-writer Danny Brocklehurst, known for his work on Shameless. Clocking off in the street, in the echoey 100-year-old rugby club. Harlan Coburn is a brand in the novel world, says Brocklehurst. His readers have certain expectations of him, twists. Brilliant hooks, characterful. So we always try to emulate his novel style in the TV work. Harlan will come up with an initial concept and then we will collaborate to expand and deepen the story across numerous hours. It's like a very small writer's room. But because we have the same aspirations for the drama, we always know we can trust each other's instincts. It also helps that I visit him in New York. A thoughtful and friendly Michael C. Hall, six feet under slash Dexter JFK in The Crown, plays the role of widow Dr. Tom. Whose eldest daughter is the girl who goes missing. The actor is in Britain with his wife and dog. In the end, it was the story from Harlan and Danny's first script that did it for me, says Hall. It was strong and filled with characters that I could immediately identify with. And there was a great deal of complexity and dimension. He adds, there were surprises. Two, genuine surprises, and I think I was drawn to playing a character who was more or less a regular guy around whom crazy things are happening. As opposed to a crazy guy doing crazy things. Paul played one of the most memorable serial lures on television, Dexter. A police forensics blood spatter analyst who moonlights as a vigilante dispensing justice in almost 100 unpredictable episodes of TV but he actually began on Six Feet Under. The drama set around a funeral home in Los Angeles, as closeted gay mortician David. It was big time for HBO then. The Sopranos had just been on and people were anticipating big things from Alan Ball's Six Feet Under. There was a sense that this could and ought to be something special. But you know I never thought I would play one character on a show for five seasons and then another for eight seasons but that's how the story unfolded. It will be the first paragraph on my obituary no matter what I do. Dexter was a game changer. Undoubtedly. I wouldn't rule out doing another series like Dexter. London Remanda, 44, knows only too well what it's like to be part of a global hit. Thanks to Sherlock. And in terms of exposure she was also, until 18 months ago, in reality married to one of its two main stars. Freeman. That subject is off the menu but she's nonetheless happy to share her enthusiasm for what she considers an exciting project. In Safe she plays Sophie, a detective sergeant, who is investigating the disappearance of Tom's daughter. The drama was a gift for her. I guess it was the fact that Danny had written it. Stupid not to do it. And I was offered it too. That was a big factor. Then I realized Michael was doing it and that was a gift. But I'm really proud of this one, which I rarely say of things. It touches on themes, she says. 
that are thought-provoking. I think we do feel a little bit less safe nowadays, she says, in a more serious tone. I definitely do. We've got a madman in the White House. I think there's also a feeling now that we're less trusting because there's not a sense of community anymore. People are just much more about themselves and I think that makes you more likely to look over your shoulder and go. I don't know what my neighbor's doing anymore, whereas in my grandmother's day, even in my mum's day, there was more of a community feeling. The beautiful thing is that if something terrible happens everyone comes together. So it's fundamentally isolated because of the internet and we're all on our phones doing this, looking at her hand, all the time and not looking up. Or looking out. Amanda lives on a country lane with her children Joe, aged 12, and 10-year-old Grace. I've got one neighbor next to me. We are very close. Not in each other's pockets but, if something happens, we are always looking out for each other. But I always make a point of saying hello. If you do that in London, people just go, turns away, why are you saying hello? They must think I'm nuts. Unless they're Sherlock fans, of course. Who continue to seek her out. Yes, it's quite nice, she admits. Contrary to Freeman's recent view that filming Sherlock was no fun anymore. I'm never one to go, I'm never gonna have a photo. It's always Sherlock fans, which is lovely, and they're a lovely bunch of people. They are just devoted to the show and devoted to the characters. Safe is her first series since Sherlock and she's more than pleased that it's being made with Netflix which she says, is changing the way we watch television, mostly for the better. I love them and they make some amazing stuff. They don't have to conform, either. Harlan said there are no real boundaries. We can make a show as we want to make it. Which is quite liberating because sometimes with a network, channel, you have to stick to certain parameters. Whereas with this it feels freer and that's liberating as an actor. She continues, I think that's the way people are going now. Netflix has changed the way we watch TV. There's a time limitation with people now. They are so busy that they can't sit down on a Tuesday night and follow it weekly. People don't want it like that. People want it all at the same time. But aren't we losing our water cooler shows like Sherlock? I hope not. Because I quite like that. I think Victoria, ITV, is like that. I get the same thing. There is a lovely thing about that Sunday night viewing when you've had a day and you've eaten your Sunday roast and can sit down. But I don't think we sit down as families anymore. I think we're losing that and we're changing the way we watch television. I don't know whether it's bad or good. We're just evolving. Safe, Netflix, from third.